guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. Today's video is all about this dewy look. We know it's summertime. We're all about that healthy skin, hydrated skin, glowy skin, and I'm here for it. I also recorded a video about how to do dewy makeup on your dewy skin, so definitely check that out. But if you want to see how I create this beautiful, dewy, glowy skin look, definitely keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is to shave our face and no I'm not talking about using a razor blade because I don't trust myself enough for that we're actually gonna be using uh, Nair's face shave cream so let's do that I just washed my face so I'm just gonna apply it all over my face and instead of doing it like a lotion I'm actually just gonna go in sections it smells like the regular Nair hair remover and I don't know how I feel about that because I've always not liked that smell very much but it's not overwhelming it's pretty mild I'm really hoping this works because I feel like I'm due for a face shave which I normally do dermal planing for but I'm hoping this actually works Just make sure not to get your eyebrows or you will be without eyebrows <laughs> so wait for five minutes and wash it all off it's been about five minutes and my face is actually starting to feel really itchy so let's test it it's actually my first time using this so let's hope it works Okay, well, I'll see the hairs. It's actually working, guys. Let's just wipe the whole face because I don't want to get burned. It's crazy that Nair now has this because I remember literally thinking in college, I wish Nair came out with a hair remover cream. And here we are, 10 years later. And this is just gonna create like a really smooth foundation. Because sometimes hairs also make makeup appear very like streaky and patchy and blotchy. It's just very important to have a really clean base. For my next step, I'll be using Peach and Lily's Glass Skin Face Polisher. So this has rice burn extract, which is really popular in Asian skincare and it helps to gently micro exfoliate the skin. My skin already looks incredibly smooth. Next, I'm gonna use the Kusa RX2 Essence. I love this one because it has the snail essence and dew essence in one bottle. It has triple peptide complex and niacinamide. This step is totally up to you, but I'm gonna use the Fenty peptide eye cream because I don't want any creasing on my under eyes. For my second to last step here, I'm gonna use the first Genter Emulsion because I don't wanna use a moisturizer. Having oily skin means more oiliness in the summer and that's the last thing I want for my skin, so. I'm just using a very slight emulsion and if you watch my video where I talked about different types of toners I explained what an emulsion is it's just a very light moisturizer and for my last step my favorite sunscreen the Innisfree SPF 36 broad spectrum gotta protect that skin from the summer heat especially if you're in the Dallas area can't forget your lip gloss I'm gonna be using this on back apart it's their nude beach lip gloss and there you have it. You look healthy, you look hydrated. This is my favorite thing to do when I want to do like a skin shoot. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.